We begin at the National Assembly here in Seoul, where Speaker Kim Jinpyo is currently hosting top Chinese legislator Li Changshu, who arrived here in the country late Thursday. Now, for more on this, I have our political correspondent Yi kyung standing by live at the parliament. kyung let's begin with a few words on the issues being addressed by the two legislators. Hi, Sunny. The meeting is set for um, 2 p.m., but now before getting into the session, um, the two speakers just took a photograph to mark the occasion. The meeting will last for about an hour, and it will be followed by a joint press briefing at 3 p.m. Now, the meeting marks the 30th anniversary of Seoul and Beijing's diplomatic ties, and it is likely to be focused on boosting bilateral cooperation with global supply chain and North Korea's denuclearization almost certainly topping the agenda. Some Sensitive issues like Seoul's push to normalize the operation of the U.S. anti-missile defense system, FAD, could also be discussed, too. Following the meeting, Lee will move on to hold talks with President Yoon sung yeol Then there will be a banquet in the evening at the National Assembly Speaker's official residence. Prior to coming here, Lee visited South Korea's tech conglomerate, um, LG's major R&D facility in Seoul, where much of his focus is set to be um, on the LG's EV battery, which ranks number two and the global sales. Right. Meanwhile, kyung what can you share with us about the broader implications of this trip to Seoul by Lee chan which of course comes at the invitation of Kim Jin-pyo? Well, um, I think I have to touch upon the fact that Lee chan is actually third highest official in China, and he's very close to President Xi Jinping, along with his right-hand man, Vice President Wang Qishan, who actually came to South Korea for attending uh, President Yoon's inauguration in May. And we also have to note that South Korea is one of the first countries he has visited after three years without overseas travel due to COVID-19. And observers see this as China's attempt to boost economic ties with Seoul, as the U.S. is currently trying to dominate global support supply chains along with his allies, including Seoul. Lee's visit to LG Science Park supports that idea, as that's the very place U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen visited during her visit to Seoul. All this also comes as President Xi is looking for an unprecedented third term in office in October. Now, eyes are on whether Lee's visit could pave the way for a summit between President Xi and President Yoon sung yeol Back to you, Sunny. All right, Kelman, thank you.